Hi, Greg Lewis, Metastock Software. In just a moment, you're going to see a presentation about our latest release, Metastock 15. I know you're going to enjoy it. If you'd like to get Metastock 15, the best way you can do that is to call 801-506-0900. We're doing a lot of great deals as part of our introductory offers, including discounts on Metastock. Uh, if you're not yet a data subscriber, you can get two free months of our real-time data or end-of-day data. Uh, you get $100 off of our new Teach Talk Trade Trend Momentum Toolkit add-on, and you can get a free copy of Unleash the Power of Metastock, a $99 value, which also includes two free hours of training videos. So give us a call, 801-506-0900. And uh, thank you, and we hope you enjoy the presentation. Hi, Kelly Clement here for Metastock. I'm pleased today to be taking you through some of the newest features of Metastock 15. Specifically in this video, we're going to be talking about offline mode, local data, and a new software package called the Downloader that helps you download and store your data locally on your computer. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and jump into Metastock. We're going to talk about these features one by one and why you should use them and how you can use them together. So let's go ahead and jump into Metastock. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about going offline. So when we're going offline and we're using offline mode, what that means is you have the ability to take your Metastock and not be connected to the internet. So you can download and store data, and then if you're, say, on a plane and you don't have access to internet, you can analyze your data offline. So Metastock is a very easy to run offline. If you are online already, you can actually just come up to File and tell Metastock to go offline or you can actually just uh, go into your start menu, go down to the Thomson Reuters folder, find your Metastock, and there's the ability to start Metastock in offline mode. So you can go offline, let's actually just do that right now, so we'll go up here, go offline, and you see Metastock kind of grays out up here, so that means that we're running in offline mode. Now running offline won't do you much good if you don't have data on your computer, so let's talk about how to set up data and work with data just to make your life easier here. So what we're going to do is, first of all, you have the ability to use any data now in Metastock. So there's actually three different file formats. There's uh, what's called Metastock Legacy File Format, which is a file format that's been around for years. You can use CSV, or you can use Metastock's newest file format that's called Metastock Local. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Metastock Local in this video, but a lot of what we're talking about applies to the other file formats as well. So let's go in here, and first of all, you can easily set up files, local data files on your computer by using what we call our symbol utilities. So all you have to do is go to metastock.com, and then you can come in, look at all the different regions of data, so you just choose what markets you're trading. Uh, for simplicity, I'll here I'll just choose the U.S. market. You just download and run this file, and it'll set up all your files locally on your computer. So if I go into my C drive down here, you'll see I have this file called Metastock Local Data. That's now where all my local data is set up after running that utility file. So let's go in and let's get everything set up so we can download and use data. So I'm actually going to go up here, go to the downloader which again is our new software pro program for downloading and storing data on your computer. So once we're in the downloader, we just need to tell the downloader what data we want to update. I'm just going to remove this file that I have in here now so I can show you how it works. So we're just going to choose Add. I, I navigate to that C Metastock local data file or wherever you have your data set up. You can set it up anywhere. And let's just choose the S&P 100 for simplicity. So I'll just select folder. And then all I have to do once I've selected it is just click the download button and it'll download all that data for me. So right now this is grabbing five years worth of data on all these securities. You can see how fast that runs through and stores all that data locally for you. Now when you're doing this and you're setting this up, the first time you download it takes just a little bit longer because you're getting five years of data. After that it's really fast because you're only grabbing it every day or every few days or however often you need that data. 
Okay, so now I can see all those files are downloaded, stored, and uh, I'm ready to use that data. Now there's a lot more you can do in the downloader. We're not going to cover it in this video. You can convert data. So if you have data in other formats, you can convert it in a Metastock file format. You can manipulate data, store it. You know, there, So there's a lot you can work with. And just to give you a few options here, right click and you can see how you can go through create new security files, do all this. Again, we're not going to do that. We're just uh, kind of focusing in on the local data aspect of it right now. So I've written all those S&P 100 files onto my computer. I can now go into Metastock and open up those files. So to do that, we're just going to go into Instruments here really quick. We'll right click Manage Custom Lists and we're just going to point to where those are. So we'll click on Local Instruments. We'll do Browse and let's go ahead and browse to where those are. So we just want to go up here again to see Metastock Local Data, S&P 100, that's the one uh, we just downloaded. So we'll select folder. You see all those are loaded in. Now you see this type over here, it'll tell you what type of data you're using. So if you right now it says Metastock, which is the newest file, file format. If they were in CSV, it would say CSV. If it was in the legacy file format, it would say legacy. So you can see how it can read all of those. So once they're all selected, just click OK. You see it brings in the S&P 100 file folder there. Click Save. And now I have that local data stored ready in Metastock so I can pull up charts with it. Now the easiest way to do it, we just expand that folder. Just select the first one in the list. Open up my chart. And once the chart's open, I can now easily work through my list and pull up different securities from that list. So I can do a, a few things here. One, if I know the symbol, I can just type on the screen and it'll take me to that symbol. Or I can come down here to the Choose Instrument box and I can just scroll through and choose any of the securities in that list or just scroll through that list directly. So again, all this is offline. This is all stored on my computer locally. I'm not pulling any data from the internet. It's just what's stored right there on my computer. So makes it can make your life very easy if you're wanting to analyze while you're not going to be connected to the internet you're, you're going to be you know let's say you're heading on a trip for a while and you just want to be able to pull up your charts and analyze them downloading it storing it on your computer for offline use later is the best way to do that so that's a quick introduction to using local data in offline mode and the downloader obviously there's a lot more training that you can go through to uh, to learn more about offline mode and local data. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and it's given you a flair for how the, the downloader and local and offline mode work. Thank you very much for using Metastock and have a great day.